Okay, so welcome to this next video on uh, the uh, magnetic resonance imaging. Right, so we've discussed how what the MRI machine does is it ascribes all the different points in this magnetic, uh, in this uh, chamber, um, different magnetic field strengths. So it was, might ascribe bit portions over here a certain magnetic field strength, like so, and then it might ascribe portions over here a different magnetic field strength. Okay, right, and then what it does is it emits a radiation of a certain set frequency and that will interact with one of these boxes. Uh, basically, it will have a certain magnetic field strength for which at that, at that specific magnetic field strength, this frequency of radiation has enough energy to move protons which are aligned with the magnetic field uh, into fr uh, pr protons that are perfectly disaligned with the magnetic field, i.e. move them from the low energy state to move to the high energy state. Okay, so protons in that box will move from the low energy state to the high energy state. Then, when you turn off the radiation, what happens is that those protons that were now disaligned and in the high energy state, they have to give up their energy now. They basically go back to being in the low energy state. As soon as the radiation is turned off, they go back to being in the low energy state. They're no longer resonating with the, um, with the electromagnetic radiation, and they return to the low energy state. And when they do that, what they do is they release loads of electromagnetic radiation. Okay, so the photons are in this box and are releasing electromagnetic radiation. Now what the MRI scanner does is it detects that radiation. And from the no amount of radiation it receives, from the number of photons it receives, it can work out how many um, protons were in that box. And moreover, since the main place where you find protons that are going to resonate like this is in water, they can pretty much work out how many water molecules are in that little box. Now, it has two options after that. It can either vary the magnetic field strength uh, so that gradually what it does is it um, it goes through every single little patch of this um, of this chamber and looks at uh, and works out the water density in that little patch and then it can build up a great picture of the water density everywhere or it could alter the frequency of the radiation so that every time each um, each of these different patches is the at the correct magnetic field strength to resonate with the different frequency, basically. But the key thing to understand is that it will own, each time, only a certain magnetic field strength will work for this frequency. So only one little patch of this chamber will actually go, or will have its protons elevated from the low energy state into the high energy state when you do it. All the other patches where the magnetic field strength was too wrong, basically, and the energy difference was wrong, those protons will not go from the low energy state to the high energy state when you um, when you irradiate them, basically. So you won't get this uh, emission of photons. And basically what you do is you gradually alter the either the frequency that you use or the magnetic field strength uh, of each patch, basically, in order to go through each little portion of this chamber and work out the density of protons or the density of water, basically, uh, because those two are proportional, at least roughly. Uh, at every um, point within this chamber. And then what you can build up is a 3D picture which shows you the density of water in this human being, basically. And that's what an MRI image shows. It shows you the density of water uh, at each point of the human body.